Hello, welcome to East Longmeadow Public Library Art Class. I'm Jenny Voigt. Happy summer. I hope you will enjoy this project. We're going to be doing some painting, but we're going to use an album, an old record, as our canvas. And the art that I've chosen is Mandela Dot Art. So we'll be creating something like this. I hope you enjoy the project. I'm going to show you the supplies that you'll need to do this project. You should have picked up your art kit from the library in a nice bag. You should have picked up a record. You should have gotten inside your kit um, Q-tips. You should have gotten little containers with lids that have paint in them. And you should have gotten a little sponge um, sponge brush, a very small one that looks something like this. Uh, you'll need to go get some water, just have a cup of water nearby to rinse your sponge brush, and paper towels so you can dry your brush a little bit when you're switching colors. And that's all we'll need to complete our project. Again, here's what our project is going to look like. We're using all greens and blues for our paints today. So before we start painting, you should have a dark blue, a lighter blue, like a teal. This is like an aqua or seafoam green, and then a bright green. So we need to create one more color, which is a light blue. So I've also given you a container of white. So you're going to use, I just have a little lid. You can use a paper plate and just take some of your white with one of your Q-tips. Scoop out your white, and then with the other end of your Q-tip, scoop out some of your darker blue. I think I gave you extra dark blue, because we want to create a light blue. So we have five colors that we're going to be using. All right, so we will begin our project. Get your empty canvas, your empty record, and we're going to start with our dark blue paint. You're going to use your sponge brush, your little spongy brush, and I want you to imagine the um, inside of the record as a clock, and we're going to put painted dots, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and nine o'clock. You can hit pause once I do mine. So we want to put a dot, let's see, this will be your 12 o'clock. And we'll dip in the more paint. Three o'clock. Six o'clock. Nine o'clock. If you want to hit pause, and do yours. Once you finish those dots, then we're going to fill in the rest of the numbers. So, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. So you'll want to space them out. 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, not 9, 10, and 11. So you should have dots that look like this. You've completed your blue circles around the label, the center of your record. Now we're going to go and use the two greens. I'm going to call this seafoam green and then a bright green. And we're going to create little dots around the ones that you just made. So with a Q-tip, you're just going to gently press one, two, I'm going to go ahead and count out seven, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven little dots. We're not going completely around, we're just going partially around. And now I'm going to skip one of the blue dots 
And I'm going to do that again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just like that. Now I'm going to skip a dot. Mandela dot art is about creating patterns. And that's what we're doing. If you would like to hit pause and go ahead and use the seafoam green and put your seven dots around the blue ones, skipping every other one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. I've completed my seafoam green dots. Now I'm going to move on to the bright green. And I'm going to add my green dots. Same number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now if it's a little tight, I'm just going to do a little overlapping. One, two, three, four. Six, seven. Also, if you gently touch it, you'll make a smaller dot. If you touch it a little firmer, it'll make a bigger dot. You can hit pause and complete your dark green dots. You should have completed your dark green dots and your seafoam green dots around the blue ones. So now you're going to need to take your sponge brush. You can sponge off some extra paint and you'll need to wash it in your water and then dry it with your paper towel. I'm going to switch colors. We started with blue, now we're going to go to green. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the seafoam green paint, and we're going to put seafoam green dots around in a circle. We're going to place them in between where your blue dots were. There's a little space right there for them. Turn the record as you're painting. So now you have another layer of dots. You can hit pause and finish those. Now we're going to grab our blues, our blue paints, and a new Q-tip. And around the seafoam green dots that we just did, we're going to place, I believe it's six dots. It won't fit seven, maybe even five. So one, two, three. Four, five, six. So I'm using my teal blue. I'm going to alternate. I'm going to skip this dot and go to this one and add one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Five, six, Thank you. 
something like this. I've added teal dots around the seafoam green dots. And now I'm going to get the dark green and place dots around the rest of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You should have lots of dots. We're going to move on to the next layer. We're going to go back to green. Actually, no. Yeah, blue, green, blue, back to blue. So we're going to use our teal blue color. We'll have to take the sponge brush that has seafoam green on it and wash it. I think instead of putting mine in water, because it is a very light color, I'm just going to dab it with a paper towel and get most of the paint off. And if this mixes with the teal a little bit, that's okay. So we're going to continue adding dots and creating patterns. So in between the two teal dots, or the seafoam green dots, we're going to add a teal dot. go. You can hit pause and add your teal dots. Now we're going to grab our green colors, our bright green, our seafoam green. We already have our q-tips ready to go. And we're going to add our six dots around the teal dots. One, two, three, four, five, Six. We're going to alternate. So we'll go to the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six. That one just barely fit. One, two, three, four, five, six. My seafoam green dots. Now I'm going to add dark green dots around the open spaces. I accidentally put dots. I got carried away. So I'm going to just paint over them with my dark green. One too far. So with our dark green paint, one, two, three, four, five. I can't quite fit six, so I'm just going to leave it. One, two, three, Four, five, six. That one fit well. Two, three, four, five, six. And now I'm at the last one where I accidentally put my seafoam green. So I'm just going to paint right on top of these dots. If it doesn't quite cover, I'm not worried about it because it actually looks kind of pretty. I may give it some time to dry and then I'll paint over it again. And once you finish all your dots, the creation looks a, should look something like this. We're almost to the end. 
Next thing we're going to do, we've got blue, green, blue. Now we're going to go to our dark green. We need our, sea, our foaming sponge. I'm actually going to use water this time. Rinse it off. Squeeze it and dry it with your paper towel. Now we're going to add our bright green dots in between the two blue ones. record as you're painting. should do it for the green dots. You can hit pause and add yours. And the last thing we're going to do, or the next to the last thing, we're going to add another layer of dots. We're not going to put little circles around these. We're just going to add another, our light blue. We made this light blue by mixing white and the dark blue together. So once again you'll need to clean your sponge brush to get the green off. And we're going to be adding light blue right next, or give it some space, but you're going to be putting it next to the dark green. Leave a little space. Paint. So right next to the green is your light blue dot. We are adding light blue dots right next to the green dots, giving a little space in between. feel you need to add more paint to some of your dots, you can go over them a second time. And finally, I'm going to go back to our Q-tips. We're going to add some teal and some dark blue in between the dots that we just created. So I think I'll start with the dark blue. Right in between the dark green and the light blue dots, I'm going to add just a little Q-tip dot to kind of connect them. Right in between the blue and the green. can hit pause and add those little dots. It's looking pretty. Now we're going to go to our teal blue 
And on the very outside edge, we're going to add the teal dot. So, if you are pleased with the way your Mandela dot art painting on a record looks, then perhaps you are done. I am happy with this one. Um, the center of my record has this pretty rainbow and some blues, so I'm going to leave it as is. It's got a nice little hole to hang this up. Also, once this dries, and your art dries, you can flip it over and create something for yourself, one of your own designs. You could also practice on paper and then once you like your design you can move it to the record and you'll have two, two designs to hang up. I have made another one that looks very similar, same colors, um, but the center of my label didn't really match the colors so I went ahead and painted it. So if your record label doesn't really match the blues and greens, you may want to go ahead and paint the center. I also created some reds, yellows, and blues. I made one. This was all practice. The record label was yellow and orange and purple. I thought it was so pretty, so I used those colors and used the same design that we just made. And I would also like to show you a few of the records my girls have created. Painting a wave on the record. I thought that was really pretty. Adventure is calling. Best friends. And they found all these ideas online. And they were able to paint them. The disco ball. Very cute. Lots of fun. I love the, the, the label is painted all silver. And a beautiful sunset. And if you are interested in getting more records, uh, we got them at, I believe it's called Music Outlet in Enfield, Connecticut. And Gary will help you out. They have used records, very inexpensive, if you're enjoying the painting on records. Well, thank you for participating in the art challenge for the summer reading program. Hope you're enjoying some good books and you all are doing well. And I'll see you next time. Take care.